Hello and welcome, I'm Arumba. Thank you for joining me. Let's play some more Russia. We're actually Russia now. So, okay. We can get some prestige, which is useless, since we're at 100 right now. We have a few other decisions we can pass. We can... Russia gets Russian Patriarchate until the end of the game. Cost of reducing war exhaustion goes down. Okay, no reason not to do that. Pass the Declaration of Indulgence Act. Tolerance of heretics goes up, but stability cost goes up. Well, right now... Our tolerance of heretics is at negative one. I don't think we really have too many. Actually, we do. Ostrov. So, like, when you look at Ostrov, intolerance is reducing taxation, and it's also reducing, I believe, goods produced. Yep. If we were to take that decision and boost up our tolerance to zero, we would get rid of those penalties on any province that's a heretic. And there are a few. That's six provinces right now. At the cost of increasing stability costs. I think that's worthwhile. And we can pass the Conventicle Act. Missionary strength goes up by one. Tolerance of heretics goes back down. Now this missionary strength affects all conversion though, so it's not just the heretics. So I don't know if we need it yet. Let's see if we can actually convert Muslims if we had that bonus 1%. We've got, right now, 2 plus 1.5 plus 1 is 4.5, 4.6, and we're up against 6. So if we had an extra 1, we'd be at 5.6. We still can't convert it. We could convert a, a base tax to... I think that's base tax 2. Oh, Kasimov is base tax 4. So if we had some bonus stability, we could convert it. And certainly we could convert base tax to provinces. Like this one, Sabir, we're only up against five. We could finally start to convert the Muslims. I'm going to hold off on doing it yet. We could do the Advancement of Religion Act. And this one and have 2%, we could do it. But I just don't feel like converting is right. I mean, we only have one missionary. Let's convert stuff that's easier to convert first. We'll do it eventually. Hey, we picked up some more dudes. Hopefully we've got a... Yes, excellent. Discipline plus 5, absolutely. Sounds good. And we can choose a new idea group. I had just chosen this, I think. Yeah, 20 more years of diplomatic focus. We've got a lot of admin points. We are equal to time on admin tech. I think it'd be a bad idea to do another Diplo idea group. We already did two of them, didn't we? No, just one. But if we did an admin idea group... Ten, ten fewer years of nationalism. I really wish we had more military power. Religious ideas could go really well hand in hand with the um, overseas expansion CB because we could convert stuff. And the bonus missionary strength would, would make it a lot easier. On the other hand, uh, humanism I've not done. Humanism would be cool. Years of nationalism is, I think, just so, so valuable. I don't know. We don't need to do it yet. We don't have points for it right now, so we'll just wait. But we're Russia. Goody goody. Now that we have all this as accepted culture, can we spit out some vassals in this area, maybe? Plotsk. Why don't we try to make you spit out Plotsk? Whatever that entails. Plotsk, Ukraine. And then we'll vassalize them. 
That way we can avoid the double cost on coring. And uh, getting pretty close to that final idea, which will allow us to attack the natives over in the New World. Might need to put an actual army over there. Cat just completed. I'm going to continue to colonize probably along this. I don't think any of these guys are going to... Maybe maybe that's a bad idea. They're not going to take colonial ideas, so they're never going to colonize. Maybe we should avoid them as we don't have any, any real exposure to them. On the other hand, attacking the Oirat would be nice. Timbers don't seem to have any rebels yet, which is nuts. Hmm. Uh, lose stability in favor of losing five inflation. Five inflation, the cost of doing that myself would be two and a half clicks, so 150 plus another 37, so like 180 or so, 187 admin points. And the cost of boosting stability is 105. So I would say that the. It's a good trade. Yeah, we'll do it. Russia! I just like seeing Russia everywhere. <laughs> Mahikan. And we'll gain inflation right back. <laughs> oh well. Hey Lithuania, how strong are you? I hope you're weak. I want to attack you. Lithuania has 47,000 troops with 9 military tech. Um, I did see that there was a coalition. Sweden is the only one though. Okay, Kazan, down to 24,000 troops. The Timurids are down to 54. The Ottomans have 65. Ottomans are equal to our tech level, so I consider that. You are in a coalition against me. I'm not going to help you. We still have our truce with you, I believe. If we attacked Uzbek, I think we'd be able to take some territory from them pretty easily. And we have a better CB against them than we do against Kazan. Unfortunately, it is wrong culture, wrong religion, but I suppose if we did attack enough Tartar territory, we might be able to make it accepted. Uralic. We should just convert. After we conquer it. On the other hand, who's easier to attack? The New World is way easier to attack. Let's, let's just get some more people over here. Gotta go to the New World. We, we took the idea groups for it. It's just too easy. Far too easy to kill the natives. It's like, look at the tech level that they have. Yeah, two, 22,000 troops, Mahi Khan. But you're on tech level 3. It's just... We need to go kill them. It's just a bunch of, of infantry, too. They have no back row. Bring some cannons, kill them. Simple. Okay, uh, hold on. Trade failure. That's fine. Nation of the Hansa, your faithful allies are requesting you come to their aid in the Hanseanic conquest of Rupin against Brandenburg. So the Hansa is attacking Brandenburg, Poland, Bohemia, Sweden. Uh, no. No. Nope. <laughs> I'm not going to do that. That seems like a very bad idea. Sorry, Hansa. 
Prestige be damned. I don't care. I'd rather attack people that are weak and feeble. Protestant zealots here. You don't like that. We don't want our little vassal to switch to Protestant. And he's eager to help. That's good. Nice. Two events in the last couple months alone. To uh, convert those, uh, add 200 population there. We'll bring some more men over here. Just lost our diplomat. Now we're at the same problem with this. Now they're all level 2 here. It's annoying. Oh well. Seven points is still pretty good. We're about to cap off that idea group. We're about to get our CB. That's why I'm trying to get these troops over there. We're also about to save quite a bit of money because our naval force limit is going to go up, which is going to save us the 1.26 ducats and overages that we're paying. Which means we can easily maintain maximum maintenance. Also having one less advisor helps. Now, Lenop is probably the person we're going to attack. But I don't want to make them into protectorates. I just want to conquer the territory. Lenop does have 22,000 men. The Timurids um, have accepted peace with Kazan. Kazan is no longer at war with them. How did Kazan fare? 20,000 troops. And the Timurids are still at 62. There's still two tech levels behind, and I think we're about to get our, our 11th. Let's take that last idea group, get our permanent CB. One more puts us there. Um, could do military, but we just don't have a lot of military points. We're behind tech the most on diplomacy, so I do think not taking another diplomacy would be good. I just think it has to be admin. And I'm torn between religious and humanist. Oh, you know what? Now we have two of these things. It might be a policy we can act. Global settler increase for diplomacy points. Ten global settler increase per year with three colonies. Hmm. I don't know if that's worth the points, actually. Well, it, I guess it probably is. I don't, I don't know. For now, though, I'm going to go with humanist. Even if we can't convert the land, we take humanist and then later on take religious. So we take humanist now so we can take over a lot of land with less nationalism and then we just kind of accept it all and then eventually we convert it. Seems fine. Besides, the earlier you take humanist, it, the 10% uh, reduction to idea cost. Sounds nice. And now we just need 170 some points of admin and we can actually get that extra colonist already. Well, four colonists. It's a lot of colonists. Hmm. Our manpower is doing pretty well. We'll train up some more guys. They're very, very heavy on infantry. But they're so good. Who needs cannons when you can have Russian infantry? Boatloads of them. We're going to wait till level 11 and then we're going to attack something.
I don't think we can compete with Spain's navy, but they are currently occupied by France. Ooh, France is at war with everyone. Spain, do you have a navy? Spain has 60 ships. Pretty dangerous. France is being occupied here. Spain's being occupied by them. Manhattan is finished. Wow, that was fast. It's nice. That's a great province. Unfortunately, the distance overseas stinks. For production and everything. But. Better than nothing. Stadanka? It's getting pretty high. We'll take that mission now. This is going to happen pretty quick. What is our global settler increase at right now? 80? So... So if I took... If I took that policy... We're going to have four colonists. We have to do it. It just makes sense, doesn't it? Let's just do it. And we have 60 diplomacy points. We need a lot of diplomacy points for integration as well. We're going to annex Finland first, I think. Because there are fewer points. And that's all fine. I'd really like to get some cannons over here. We will take the money. You become the defender of the Orthodox faith. Unlikely to do that. Extra missionary would be kind of cool, but I don't like the tech cost. Okay, cool. Well, I'm going to take a break here. And uh, yeah, when we get to level 11 military tech, we'll probably attack. Either Kazan, Uzbek, Timrids, or just attack the New World. Maybe even attack Lithuania, it just depends on how well they do in their war. So for now though, um, I will take a break here and I'll see you again in the next video. See you soon.